So welcome back guys. My name is Amlan and in today's Make Notes Free campaign, we try to troubleshoot the issue that many Redmi Note users are facing. Now I am using the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max to be precise and we'll try and solve this issue wherein users are getting the fast boot screen and it somehow freezes on the screen. The phone doesn't seem to move. So while booting the phone, you may have sometimes encountered this. So what do you do when you get something like this? Because the phone has become unresponsive. Holding on to the power button for some time really doesn't seem to work. So there are two ways to fix this. Please look at the tutorial very carefully. Now this is how the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max or any of the Note phones would look like. So you have the volume up, volume down and the power button. Now hold on to the power button for some time. So this should be at least say 10 seconds. So I have pressed it and it is at least for 10 seconds so I am keeping it pressed and just let it be there just let it stay there and you will see that slowly you will get the favorable redmi icon on the page and slowly the phone will reboot so this is method one wherein you can solve the fast boot screen so the phone will reboot so here you can see now we can go ahead and use the phone as we want to. Now let's look at the second way of fixing this. The second way involves forced restarting your Redmi Note phone and for that you need to press the volume up, volume down and the power button, all three buttons simultaneously. So this is a little tough so use these two fingers to press this volume up and volume down and then the power button, all of them and hold on to that say for a period of 10 to 14 seconds. So just keep that pressed. So don't leave it, keep that pressed. So you will see that the phone will reboot and there you go. So now the phone will restart. So the phone is restarting and then the phone practically becomes normal. So if the phone is just having a small software glitch, then I believe that these steps will actually help you bring your phone back to life. But despite the steps, if the phone still refuses to start, then it's time that you take it to a store. Maybe there is underlying hardware or some other issue going on. So hopefully today's tutorial helps and you can bring your phone back to life just using the power method like we described before, or maybe doing a forced restart of your phone. If you think today's tutorial is helpful, please do put in your comment to let us know how it's helped you. Also, please do subscribe, click on the like button, tap on the bell icon for notifications and please do share this with your friends on social media, WhatsApp, Facebook, Twitter and all those wonderful things. Hopefully, I catch you in the next tutorial. If you have a device and if you have an issue, do let us know so that we can either rent the device or buy the device and try and troubleshoot the issue for you. Until next time, it's me Amnan signing off.